So, what the fuck is up with e-grades? When trap on, you're protecting yourself with gear placed into the features in the rock that can later be removed. Sometimes, there's an endless crank to accept bomber cams. But sometimes, there's nothing. If I tell you I climbed a 7A, you'd have a rough idea of the difficulty. But if I told you I actually soloed the route on poor quality rock, then we both understand I'd manage something more challenging. That's what the British grading system is trying to do. Factor in the mental difficulties of a route to capture the overall challenge of climbing said route. So why am I covering this in the first place? Well, whenever e-grades come up, a lot of people seem quite confused. And even from regular UK trad climbers, I often hear the same misinterpretations of the system. Most notably, that at a given e-grade, a route's got to be dangerous. I also have videos planned that will cover UK trad ascents and history, inevitably using the e-grades. While now I'm often referred to as e-grades, e1 is far from the lowest in the system. Soldier or boring numbers, all school climbers were hardcore, and they wanted you to know it. Starting with moderate, we then crank up to difficult, very difficult, hard very difficult, severe, hard severe, very severe, and hard very severe. These may seem like rather entertaining names to give grades that are relatively low nowadays. However, when these were cutting edge, the best protection you could hope for was a hemp rope around your waist. Not a soft cap, even in the unlikely circumstance you have something to hold your fall. Standards rose, and the pure difficulty of climbs was pushed, so the next graders formed, extremely severe. Reaching an end of their adjectives, the extremely severe grade was growing broader and broader. An open-ended system was needed, and so the E grades were born, splitting extremely severe into E1, 2, 3, and so on. So, how do these grades translate into other systems? For a nice easy starting point, E1 is roughly a very safe French 6A. In order for this route to become an E2, it could either be more run out at the same 6A grade, or it could be more physically difficult while just as safe around French 6B. So for routes in the same danger level, a singular jump in E grade is roughly the same as a French letter grade jump. While physical difficulty doesn't have a limit, and boundaries are constantly pushed, a route can only be so dangerous, one of those rare cases where if you fall, you're almost certainly going to die. The website eGrader is a useful way to get an idea of the rough translation, and suggests that the danger of a route could up the eGrade by a maximum of four notches. A hypothetical 6A could never be E9, no matter the danger, and most a low level E5. But trying to categorize the danger level of a route isn't as easy as it first sounds. Where are the hardest moves in relation to the run-out sections? What style is the climbing? I know that personally, if I'm looking at a dangerous spot, I'd rather have an in-cut crimp in my hand than just be padding up a friction slam. And how good is a piece of trad gear or the rock around it? One man's psychological pro is bonger in another man's eyes. Dodgy looking rock or deer can hold multiple falls until it suddenly doesn't. How do you counter the danger level of that? So you've got the E grade for a route, but how do you know if it's physically hard and safe or bold? Well, that's where the technical grade comes in. Often confused with French or font grades, the tech grades range from 4A to 7B and are meant to define the single hardest move on the route. Comparing the tech grade to the adjective grade can give more insight. A high tech grade, such as E1 5C, would suggest a relatively hard but safe route, whereas in E4 5C, you'd either be looking at many 5C moves, an endurance route, or a very dangerous one. Over time, the tech grades got broader. 6C covers a huge range of difficulty, and 7A and B still haven't really been defined. This means the 6C tagged on to, say, E9 fails to tell you very much about the danger level or difficulty. With most hard new trad routes, straight after the headline E grade, there's a sport or boulder grade to try and better capture the physical difficulties, in many ways replacing 
the higher level tech grades. I draw some more personal thoughts on the system and certainly on grades in general, but I'll have to leave that for next time because my camera is just about to die.